carrying capacity is symbolized as K. It is the maximum sustainable population and environment depending on the abundance of food, shelter, water, etc. Logistic population growth model is an equation that can be used to determine per capita growth rate and population growth rate. What each variable stands for is color-coded below. In the following example, we will ignore the left side of the equal sign. This is the example that I made. The numbers I chose are random, so they may not be reasonable. This particular problem only concerns the right side of the equal sign as mentioned earlier. To find the per capita growth rate, we use the right side of the equal sign, excluding the n on the exterior of the parentheses. As n increases, the per capita rate decreases because resources are limiting. To find the population growth rate, just use the same equation as for per capita growth rate, and multiply the entire equation by n. So you can just take the per capita growth rate of 0.065 and multiply it by 20 to get 1.31. Round 1.31 to the nearest whole number to get plus 1. Intermediate populations tend to have the greatest population growth rate because of the balance between per capita rate and increase in population size. Since the per capita rate remains relatively high and there are many more reproducing individuals than smaller populations, its population growth will always be greater. Although larger populations have many reproducing individuals, the overwhelming numbers limit resources per individual. The logistic model can be extremely close approximate for only certain populations. In reality, most populations have a lag time in which the population overshoots the carrying capacity of its environment and then returns to stability. The logistic model shows that as each individual is added to a population, it has the same negative effect on population growth rate. However, some populations follow this LE effect in which an added individual has a positive effect on population growth rate. Case selection tends to maximize population size and operates in populations living at a density near the limit imposed by the resources. Part selection tends to maximize the rate of increase and occurs in environments in which population densities fluctuate well below carrying capacity. I will only be discussing a few factors relating to density-dependent population regulation. Competition is everywhere, but occurs most often in crowded populations. For example, clutch size in the Song Sparrow in British Columbia decreases as density increases, and food is in short supply. Some species are highly tutorial, which may set limits on the density of the population. For instance, oceanic birds tend to nest on rocky islands and often defend their territories by pecking at one another. The greater the population density, the fewer birds can breed successfully. Diseases can be transmitted more quickly and efficiently where population density is greater. For example, victims of swine flu that go to school have a greater chance of affecting other students around them. Hey,